My name is Tracy Brewer. I'm a first grade SAM teacher at Nellie Stokes. This is my 21st year in the classroom and I've been in Caesar Rodney School District for 12 of those years. My first priority each year is to get to know my students and let them know me. This is crucial to creating a safe environment where students know they can take risks. My students know that I expect them to do their very best, but they also know that I see them as individuals and that sometimes their best is progress, not mastery. Thank you for being here. Thank you for caring. Thank you for making a difference. Hi, I'm Colleen Cabell. I'm McElvain's Teacher of the Year. I've been teaching kindergarten for 19 years. 12 of them have been with the Caesar Rodney School District. Kindergarten is sometimes a child's first experience in a school setting. I strive to provide a warm and nurturing environment where all students gain a love of learning. I hope all my students walk into my classroom and never want to leave. My passion is in teaching young learners. Young children are naturally curious about the world around them. They are eager to explore and investigate. There is nothing more rewarding than witnessing the miracle of early learning and discovery. The highlight of my day is when my students' eyes light up as they realize they have learned something new. Welcome to the Welch Library. My name is Molly Christ and I've been teaching at Welch Elementary for 18 years. For the past 10 years, I've been reading, circulating, and shelving books as a librarian. The library is not just about books, though. It's a place for students to pursue personal interests and search for answers to their questions. In the library, students have time to browse the shelves to find books, get lost in a story, and find facts about everything. When a student returns a book with a smile on her face, it makes me smile. When a student wants to keep a book for another week, I know he found one just right for him. When students find answers to their questions, I learn something too. The library is a great place to check out. My name is Katrina Kesser and I currently teach fifth grade in a 4-5 looping SAM classroom. I have been teaching for seven years and all have been here at W.B. Simpson Elementary in the Cesarani School District. Teaching has always been a passion of mine. You can always count on each day to be exciting and new and I enjoy the challenges that come with that. I believe it is our job to reach all students and make school a positive place for all. I find it rewarding to know that on a daily basis, I am planting a seed in the minds of our future generations. As Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Hi, my name is Anna Marie Farrow and I have been teaching students with significant disabilities for the past seven years here at the John S. Charlton program. The teaching environment must be conducive to meet each learner. Teachers are responsible for every student enrolled in their classroom and must act as their advocate. Teaching extends far beyond curriculum. It is exciting to witness the rewards and the tremendous amount of growth and development that takes place with the students in my classroom. As a teacher for young adults with significant needs, I encourage and provide them with the confidence that is needed to be successful in all environments. It is invigorating to know that I play a part of this unfolding process. I look forward to the day that I cross paths with former students as they fulfill their goals. Hi, my name is Dr. Charles Kunedwe J. Uh, I'm happy to be the teacher of the year for Dover Air Force Base Middle School. My belief and my uh, perception about teaching is that every student, regardless their uh, socioeconomic and learning ability, can learn. Growing up in the Bronx, uh, I was not even seen by my teachers as somebody who can make it in school. but. Uh, with the help of other teachers in Paris, uh, a troublemaker like me, I was able to make it through and I've become so successful. Uh, to me, what is rewarding is not about how much I make at the end of the week or at the end of the year. To me, the most rewarding part of teaching is seeing my uh, student being successful. What I do or what I want to see or what makes me keep coming here is to make sure I inspire a child and when I see a child living in my classroom, happy, then I'm also fulfilled.
Good morning, my name is Danielle Lenore and I'm honored to represent my fellow colleagues as the 2017-2018 Post-08 Teacher of the Year. I believe that music education is an essential part to each student's learning experience as it nurtures and develops both the logical and creative sides of the brain. In my classroom, I ensure students connect to the world around them by creating lessons that are relevant, cross-curricular, and connected to worldly matters through discussions, writing prompts, presentations, and project-based learning. I'm Alexandra Marsh, and I'm a 7th and 8th grade science teacher at Pfeiffer Middle School. And my philosophy on teaching is that in my classroom, I try to foster an environment that encourages my students to become lifelong learners. I always love the thrill of learning new things, and when I teach my students, I want them to feel that same love of learning. I want them to carry that love of learning into all aspects of their lives. And creating lifelong learners will help them in collaborating with their peers, leading and innovating, and so much more. I don't just teach them the laws of physics. I encourage them to never stop explaining their world, to always question how things work, and I try to cultivate their curiosity and teach them how to be true problem solvers in every aspect of their lives. I think perfectly summed up in the words of Benjamin Franklin, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. My name is Nicole Monroney. I teach second grade level four at W. Riley Brown. I've been teaching 16 years in the state of Delaware and 10 years in Susan Rodney School District. My personal feelings and beliefs about teaching is that every child can learn and I feel that if a child understands that you care for them, that they can achieve anything. As soon as you have their heart and you win their heart over, then they can be successful in anything that you do. Hello everyone, this is Qin Xue, Qin Laoshi. This is my fourth year of teaching at Allen Freer Elementary School and also at Cesar Rodney School District. This is an ancient Chinese proverb. Also, it's what I believe in teaching as a Chinese immersion teacher. I believe it is important to teach and prepare my students to become linguistically and culturally competent global citizens as well as sharing the Chinese culture to help enrich the education and also lives of my students. My name is Nora Tuk. I'm an 11th grade English teacher. This is my fourth year teaching, and all four years have been in the Cesar Rodney School District. I truly believe that teaching is the most important job imaginable. Teachers have a unique and essential role in the lives of young people. They must stimulate their intellectual curiosity, engage them with humor, develop their character, treat them with kindness, and see them not only for what they are, but also what they can be. Um, I find teaching to be an enormously rewarding profession. There's something profoundly exciting about helping a student see the connections between literature and history, write a composition they're proud of, or rediscover and renew their love of reading. I cannot imagine doing anything else. I'm Kyle Hill. I'm a third grade special education teacher at Star Hill Elementary School where I've been teaching for 18 years. My message is education is serious business. Even though it might actually not seem so all the time, it really is. What we do in the classroom is very important and it helps to make a positive impact on young people. We help to motivate them, we help to build confidence in them, and we help them set lofty goals. If you think about teachers who inspired you, they were probably the individuals who cared for you, pushed you further than you thought you could go, and were passionate about what they did. In the end, if students see how far you're willing to go to help them, they're much more apt to jump on board with what you're selling. They're more likely to reach for the goals that we help to set.